is the Iron Spider-Man packaging for the Infinity War wave of Marvel Legends. And that's the back of the card art. This is the Iron Spider-Man action figure. It is the costume worn in the Infinity War movie. Before we get further to the review, it does have the left leg of movie Thanos, but you have to build this action figure and it takes five other parts to complete. On to the Iron Spider-Man figure itself and let's take a look. And check this out. Let's look at the costume detailing. It is red and this is a very navy, almost black, but it's a very dark blue and this is gold trimming and like on the side you see little, like little gold bits we'll get further into the detail to look at this figure in a second I just want to show the back notice the back spider is red and the front spider is that dark blue the webbing here it's not black lined it's the etching but you don't see like the traditional black lines on it on the mask but it might be tough to see but there is a texture all over the figure on the blues and the reds there is a sculpt slight texturing to it and it might be tough to see the texturing but let's get a closer look at the detailing here This looks really nice, the back of the spider here. It only has this, the traditional web shooting hand pose. It does not have any closed fist or open hand. They didn't include any swap out parts. Very poseable when I get to the articulation. But I could tell that Hasbro did some cost cutting measures considering it doesn't have any extra accessories. And other figures in this wave of Marvel Legends do have extra accessories and parts. So the costume looks really nice. It's a little different than the traditional look but really stands out nicely done this is about five and three quarter inches tall just a bit under six inches here the head on a ball joint can go down good range good range of up to the sides the shoulder area it has the butterfly articulation see this you could go all the way to the back and it can go all the way forward really helps out in posing and it's on a ball joint so it can go up or down has a bicep swivel has a double elbow articulation and the wrists you can spin it 360 can go in or out has a pivot torso good range and a swivel waist. You get some good poses. The upper body, the hips on the ball joint, and you got swivel thighs, double knee articulation, and surprisingly no calf articulation. There's nothing here at the lower leg, and the feet have those ankles on a ball joint up down to the sides but there's no toe articulation and a spider-man figure could always use some toe articulation but Hasbro really doesn't make that so that's the iron spider-man action figure and gonna get my final thoughts about it in a minute 
Overall, what do I think of this Iron Spider figure on the packaging of Spider-Man in his new Infinity War costume? I think there's good and bad on this figure. The good is the costume and the detailing and sculpt of this figure look really nice and the articulation is well done. Hasbro has been making some really good Spider-Man figures lately and that's the good. The bad is you could tell they cut corners on this figure because of the other figures in the wave such as Taskmaster who has a lot of accessories and a lot of plastic parts that they used overall. Other than this basic figure they didn't give any other accessories other than the build a figure part. They didn't toss in any extra swap out hands. They didn't toss in an unmasked head. Just some basic simple accessories or even some webbing. What you see here is the figure itself and they didn't give you anything else. Plus the figure body wise in terms of how much plastic is used. It's a smaller character than other action figures overall. So again they saved money on this figure and it's just kind of a shame because I think they could have done the swap hands unmasked head and extra accessories but they didn't give it. But with that said you know it's a Spider-Man figure it's all right on its own. It's well done. If you don't have this figure it's a fine addition to the collection or to an, a movie collection wave. So that's it for this review and thanks for watching and talk to you later.